right? So we're doing the saving account. This is a good chapter, by the way. It's, a, it's an important chapter. This chapter also, it's a long chapter. It has eight sections in it. So we are somewhere uh, around uh, the, the fourth and the fifth uh, lesson. So remember, we, we this this chapter is uh, is related to each other, the sections. So uh, we're going to go ahead and continue and go back and forth. So we're going to go back and forth. So deposits, we're not going to mention deposits and all that. So we're going to go directly to, for example, to uh, 5.4. Uh, uh, and just to remind you of what we took, all right? So 5.4 was about the symbol interest. So we took this one. Suppose we took it last week. So symbol interest. Uh, how we calculate the interest for 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 any amount of money that, for example, we invest or uh, or we just put it in a bank and the bank will give us some interest on it. So there's a way of doing it as a simple way. Now the second one was, uh, if you remember, it was about the compound interest. Compound, which is the normal way. This is actually what banks do. They do compounding. A compounding interest is, in, you know. Uh, uh, the idea of it is you get you get interest on your interest. So if you keep your money in the bank without touching it, without taking the interest out, the money still kept it, you keep on go, collecting money. All right. So that's how it works as a compound interest. Now the compound interest could be in, in a different you know for example it could be on a, on a biweekly, it could be monthly, it could be daily, it could be whatever. It depends on and, and the arrangement between you and the banks. All right. Or 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 any business that you are involved in. Now. What comes after that is actually here, the showing you the daily. The daily compounding is included already in what we did. So we're going to be including things. I mean, sometimes we don't mention 5.7 or 5.6 because it's really all, you know, interconnected. So they are all interconnected. Now, uh, but when we reach, for example, 5.8, when we reach 5.8, 5.8 is, is different, a little bit different than the other one. So the, here we're talking about annuity. Now we're talking about for example, you're, you're, you you took a loan and now you're going to pay it. How is it going to be paid? Uh, is uh, There's a couple of ways of uh, doing it. There's something called ordinary annuity and there's called something called annuity due. Okay. So now one of them comes in before, for example, one at the beginning of the month, one at the end of the month. Like I said, this is this is a heavy one. We have, we have to go details. So we're talking about here the future value. Uh, now we are, we are more into finance. Uh, in this uh, section more than at the, any other section. Okay, now we're gonna learn how we're gonna do that. We're gonna do the, we're gonna do for example the annual rate, and then you're gonna do the number of period. For example, here I have a four period. I'm getting a six percent interest per year. So that means every period I'm getting one and a half percent. This one has questions that are interesting. So we're gonna have you know interesting uh, work here, uh, and uh, this is gonna take us a couple of days. By the way, this is needs a lot of practice. Uh, because the, the equation itself is not that easy anyway. So on, on a test or, or an exam or anything like that, I usually give you the, I would give you the, the equation because sometimes it's hard to memorize, okay? So don't worry about that. But uh, the main thing is knowing how to, to use it and on, on your calculator because sometimes it's hard to use on a calculator if you don't know how to use it very well. Okay, so this is going to be our last section in this, in this chapter. And after that, we go definitely to chapter 6. Chapter 6, six is, has you know, different idea than chapter five. So when we get to it, we'll get to it. Okay, guys, talk to you later. Bye-bye.